the Epic Games launcher might give you some problems when you reinstall it or do some other bug fixes where it might not detect your games. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candido Technology and let's fix that. So the first thing that you have to do is uh, fire up Epic Games Launcher itself uh, to see which game you actually need to reinstall or want to discover. Uh, as you can see, if I switch this to installed, if I apply filter, as you can see, I have only one Ubisoft game or uh, Epic Games game installed. And now if I head over to my system and I go to library, and I go to games and then I go you can see that X defined is right here but so how do I get it to show up in the epic games launcher well the first thing that you're going to have to do is rename the old folder to something uh, like or basically rename it to whatever you want so right click rename I am just going to add a underscore right before the name save and uh, now make sure that you note wherever this game is installed so we come back here again and now epic games should not be able to see this game what are you going to have to do well for starters let me just restart epic games so that this problem appears all right so now if i click on installed uh, as you can see none of my games are visible how do we fix this uh, it's very easy actually you just click on view your full library and scroll to the game that you want to install which in this case is X defined I'll click on the install button it will try and install the partner application which is Ubisoft which in this case is already installed so we shouldn't be facing many issues yes installing X defined so go ahead and click on continue and as you can see we have this folder showing up now this is installing a game via Ubisoft but this method works on any game whether you install it via Epic Games Launcher or via a third party application. Go ahead and click on change. Then we are going to find our old game and uh, find the exact folder. So it's installed in D games X defined. Go ahead and click on continue. Accept all of the terms and conditions that show up. And now just let it run for like 10 minutes or four, get the download complete to 4 or 5%. And then once you're there, once it has downloaded a significant bit or this 4 or 500 MBs, pause the installation. So now if I go back to this folder, as you can see, there is now a new XDefined folder and an old XDefined folder. What you have to do is first rename this new folder that has been created. I'll just add two underscores after it because it's open in another program. All right. So in this case, we might need to close this. The uh, Ubisoft. Bye bye. All right. So now we can rename this in peace. And now I can go ahead and select X defined the original folder. Rename that one to what it's supposed to be. So now our game or our game launches actually should see this X defined folder instead of this one. If I quit this, come back and uh, click on launch. Ubisoft will open up the partner application and we should be good to go. Just looking for patches, logging in, initializing. The launcher might, uh, as you can see, ask you for an update or ask you to verify these files so click ahead go ahead and click on download update and as you can see it's just a small update that the game have issued it's not a full 33 gb download as you might expect and that is how you can force epic games launcher to detect your old games it's really sad that it doesn't have the same uh, library features as steam does but if you're in a pinch and if you want to get a game to show up in epic games launcher while it is on your hard drive this is what you can do if you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.